the campus store at Jacobs University. Yetunde Odunsi has a part-time job here. From Nigeria, she's about to finish a degree in biochemistry and plans to become a doctor. Devashish Tikekar, a student of logistics from India, is picking up a few items from the shop. As is Jan Eichhorn, a German who is studying social sciences here at the University of Bremen. Yetunde is excited. Tomorrow, she'll meet a Nobel Prize winner. It's the next day. Yatunda is on her way to a lecture with Harold Kroto. <laughs> you know, I mean, what's going on in this world? It's not every day that you meet a Nobel Prize winner. Yatunda is expecting a talk about Kroto's specialty, nanotechnology. But that's not what happens. Issues that are totally irrational, such as religion, is totally irrational. Now, people are happy with it because they, they need it inside their head. But it doesn't make sense to me. Of them can be set Science up. and religion don't go together, says Kroto. But Yatunda is a Christian, and she disagrees. But nevertheless, you can still have religion, but not be rational, because I always got the impression that some religions actually... Well, Buddhism is probably a philosophy. Her objection goes up in smoke, but the students are still hanging on his every word. Okay, so that actually works, but it's there. We do have Jan Eichhorn is about to take an exam in astrobiology. It's not his field, but here students also have to take a few classes outside their specialty. And we also always have to study everything. It's useful to learn how different kinds of people analyze different kinds of processes and how they think. Interacting with people from other disciplines is important. University President Joachim Troisch is about to undergo a very different kind of test with the university rowing team. It's a race against the Hamburg School of Business Administration and pits the first two private universities in Germany against each other. Regattas are a long-standing tradition at elite British and American universities. Now the Germans want to get in on the fun. The Bremen team goes all out, but the Hamburg crew puts on the pressure to win. It was a close call. We tried everything, but it wasn't enough. At the end, you almost caught them in the last few meters. The Bremen students take a dip in the Ulster. And the Hamburg students pop the champagne. This year, they get to take home the trophy. Later that evening, Yatunda is hitting the books. She's majoring in both biochemistry and molecular biology. So she has to study twice as hard late into the night. Sometimes it's because you just don't want to sleep, because that feeling is just fantastic. <laughs> These are Yatunda's last days at Jacobs University. She still has to write one important paper, but she's already looking ahead to the future. I'm sure it will very finally hit me that actually I'm now graduating, like I've actually graduated. I'm no longer a student yet, you know, at Jacobs. Oh man, that would be scary. I think I'll probably cry. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jan is enjoying the lighter side of life. His charity event for Africa is drawing a good crowd. Leg waxing for Somalia. For five euros, the women get to make the young men suffer in the cause of beauty. It's sad to look at your friend having painful faces, but it's for the cause! Devashish is also in the hot seat. But is this really a reputable event? It seems ridiculous at first, but when you take a closer look, this place is full. They're donating a lot of money. They're all here. And next week, they'll be at the debate. They've collected over a thousand euros. It's a huge success. But Devashish can't call it a day just yet. It's one in the morning. 
You're not still working, are you? Yeah. Stressed. It's not just the next exam that's at stake. My parents really try hard to encourage me to do well and I guess if I don't live up to their expectations they might, uh, yeah, they'd definitely be sad. His grandfather had a good job with Mercedes-Benz in India. Devashish is about to start an internship there. It's really exciting to see how you can basically control the flow of goods and materials, how you can basically hold the reins of globalization because that's what logistics is all about, helping globalization basically. And that's what excites me the most to actually be someone who can play a major role in this current upcoming trend in the world. But first, he has to clear a few more hurdles here. Next time, we'll see Devajish Tikekar give it his all for a good result. And we'll see Yetunda Odunsi on her big day.